The GSFG offensive is faltering. While US Continental Reserves are pouring in, the Southern Guards Tank Division is tasked with a deep strike to disrupt the NATO reorganisation. 18th to the 20th of June, 1989. Polkovnik, there are strong indications that NATO is preparing a general counter-offensive. While our first echelon forces are depleted and the logistics are strained to the limit, Front Command needs more time to regain combat effectiveness. Our division will buy at time. Our objective is the Kirchin Air Forward Air Base immediately to our front. Nearby, Marburg is serving as a rallying point for the bleeding forces of the 3rd German Corps. First US Reforger units are also expected to arrive soon. A bold strike against the airbase will threaten this massive reorganization effort and will force NATO to react immediately, rerouting capable forces from other areas. Your 40th Motorized Rifle Regiment received the lion's share of recent reinforcements. You will be our battering ram against the 2nd Panzer Division positions, protecting the Kirchin Air Force Base. The enemy is heavily entrenched and has in place obstacle belts. The 448th Rocket Brigade will provide missile strikes against enemy strongpoints on your command. You suppress it, Totchikas, risely. The operation starts at 800. Front expects only success. There's no one else to do it. Don't let them down. Welcome to Firebird. And things are definitely getting hot. We are making deep penetrations through NATO lines. And we're going to capture a bloody air force base. Is what we're going to do. So, as usual, hard difficulty, random events. Let's get to battles. This will be quite a longer operation with a total of 10 phases. We have to breach the tactical defenses, capture the air force base, and hold it against any counterattacks. Any observant people may realize this is actually, I'm fairly certain, the same operation during the demo. Of this game. They've changed things around a bit it seems. But uh, let's just get right to it. So to battle. So compared to the last time. We're the 40th motorized rifle regiment. We are a bit more beefy now. Well we've lost some T-64s. But we got a uh, contact armor range with the arrow. Which is quite nice. But we have a whole lot of BMP infantry. We have BMP-1 Riflemans, BMP-2 Riflemans, and BMP-1 Fire Support, BMP-2 Assault Engineers, and of course, BRM-1Ks, which do have those thermal night vision, which will be quite helpful. As this will be a longer operation, there's going to be some night operations, or night battles, I should say. We got Shilka, we got Mortars, we have a decent amount of artillery, and of course, supply. We got TBM Strikes, we got Artillery Smoke. And our reinforcements is, well, quite beefy. We got heavy tanks, we got German tanks, we got HQ, we got, uh, what's it called? VDV units, more infantry, and more BMP infantry. We do have a decent amount of operational authority to start off with. So, to start off with, I think, uh, boosting our deployment points will be useful. The main th yeah, we do have a lot of infantry. The infantry is not really going to be much of a concern this operation. And I'm always tempted to buy more infantry. But I think the smart move will probably just to buy the TATBVs. Because we can eventually upgrade these actually very quickly to TATUs. We could also get the East German armor, which is pretty okay. And these guys also come with Strellas later on. But I'm thinking there, uh, let's just go full on Soviet here and get those TATs out. We don't have a whole lot of operational authority left. We could invest in supplies, but I think our supplies is going to be good for the time being. So if we check out our operational log. Phase 1, Red Dawn. The rest Germans had time to restore their defensive line. Break it again. Engineers will help with the obstacle belts. Tactical missiles can reduce any strong point to asses. You have the tools. Now get the results. 79th and 56th tank regiments, what's left of them, will be putting pressure on the flanks of the enemy line to the left and right of your area of operation. Cool. Let's go to events. 
introduction. That's oh, that's okay. That actually, kind of sucks. Hopefully, uh, not anything too important. Let's get the battle. And here we are, ready to take this area. So we have to take uh, Riera East and Hill 71. Here's Riera East, here's Hill 71. And we need to secure an exit zone to get to the next stage. I believe all we have to do is secure one of these exit zones. So we do have a pretty interesting approach to this operation. In essence, this is pretty much the same to the one in the demo. I'm sure a few things have changed. Um, Because yeah, we need to at least get these two points because we want the victory points. And I'm thinking that the best course is to try to just... We do two-pronged assault. One to capture Hill 71, one to capture Riera East. And then from Riera East, we push up to the rest of Riera and just try to secure the exit zone. Now, we do have some allies right off the bat. Some, yeah, just some basic troops. And we can't deploy 1B, uh, T-64, B-1V and BMP-1 unit, which is not really... We've got more reinforcements over here, great. Which is not the end of the world. So what we'll probably do, hmm, I think maybe one TATBV left, one TATBV right, converge onto India, heal 71, and then just try pushing left. So that's what we're going to do. That is what we will do. So, considering that the AI is going to be full sending it to that flank, we'll just bring in the mortar supports, we'll let them have the fun of dealing with that. Um... I, mean, uh, I kind of don't want to invest in anti-air, but every time I brought anti-air, it's been useless, and every time I don't bring anti-air, well, they bring in the helicopters, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, we'll get two BMP runs. Do that. Uh, both these have the exact same stats. Even though they're slightly different calibers. Anyway, we'll just take the uh, 2S3. Uh, one T64BV. And maybe we do want some assault engineers on the right to help take out Hill. Because I don't fully trust AI. Uh, yeah, let's, let's send it. Dawn approaches. Oh, the ones. Oh god, that was terrible micro on my end of the BVs. Let's get them out. Oh yeah, let's... <laughs> Not a great opener, yeah? And if we look on over here, I do want to drop some artillery smoke. Now yeah, those are heavily vatted as well, which does not help our cause. There's also heavy entrenchments in the center as well. But we are pushing hard on the hill, one, two, four. Bugger you guys out. Probably sort of bugger them off a bit sooner rather than later. And then we're gonna flank with the BMP ones here. We have those. We'll probably want to use our first TBM strike on rare houses. Maybe I should have also. Maybe I should have invested in more tactical support. There's the 
your true force. Oh, fuck it. Let's get the assault engineers into the point. Your CUTs are taking quite a bit of heavy fire. We need to get some artillery onto the air. And the BMP 2s to deal with that infantry. And we'll send our second TADBV over here to help out. Great for, yeah, we need to just get these guys out for the time being. Wait for all the armor to get brought up and then engage. I'd like to you guys to hold fire so you can entrench before firing off your ATGMs. Oh damn, that's a that's a 30 minute cooldown on the TBM. That's pretty hardcore. Zone captured. You got the hill. I need to go take India. We probably want to try to capture rare houses first and we can converge in India. I also kind of want to get over here as well. It's 125 operational authority. Oh god. 125 operational authority. Well, there's not going to be much operations left in that rare house. Let's full send. over. Serve infantry here. Our guys should be able to clear it. Not exactly the scariest of troops. There we go. Very good, very good. Now we need to start converging onto India. Move up the BRM run to the left. We'll keep East Rifleman and Rare House to defend. Move up our tanks to try to support. Guys, firing at. Get the artillery onto those guys ASAP to shut them up. I believe we're getting flanking shots here, which is pretty good, because they are entrenched in the other direction. Smoke here, so we can move up our TUDBs into the better location. Because we want to just try to deal with the guys in India first before we'll send in up that hill. Two does have a blind spot in this forest, so we can unload and maybe get a RPG shot off. There we go. That's what I want to see. 
We might, yeah, I think we're gonna definitely get Hill 71 in this phase. Preston is we want to send to Borman's farm. To get the extra operational authority, I feel like we're gonna need it. So all we have to do is hold it for one phase and then we can just let it go and continue our push left. We're gonna back you off before you get completely blapped. Move the recon up to hill. It's gonna be a bit dangerous because of how bloody close it is, but I think we can afford the danger. These assault engineers aren't exactly doing much. Let's get them around hill 71 to help out. Oh, that is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a few dudes. Oh, it's a few dudes. I feel really dumb sending those guys up the hill now. Trent Stovia. Using my artillery more often, really. That's one of the things I always fail to do. Zone captured. Bring up our TATBVs again. What we're doing is we're drop some smoke and rush up the assault engineers. So assault, you could say. Hmm. I, f I think we can avoid getting the recon. I mean, we're just gonna go up this hill. And surprisingly, there's people up here. Shocker, I know. Oh, watch this. The tanks. I think it was the tanks. A bit of a counter-attack over here, but we do have good look. Oh, that's a lot of tanks. Jeez. I believe our guys are in decent positions. These guys are in prepared positions. Yeah, that's quite a lot of tanks. Wow. Oh, it's only Luxus. That's not too bad. Let's get our T-64s over here to help out. And you guys are kind of stuck on this. At least paying more attention to you. You need BVs are holding the point now. They're not for long. We're gonna bugger them off. T-64 B-1Vs also got buggered. Jeez, let's bugger them off. Oh, we are going to capture Hill 71. And we're just going to hold you out for the time being with our troops. We need to deal with this counter-attack over here. They were dealing with it quite well as BMP-1s are on point. And I probably should also invest in, um, in supplies. Another thing I tend to forget to do. Supplies are quite important. Can't really run a raw without logistics. Really, I, I really want to push over here, but I feel like we're going to overextend ourselves. Sure. Let's get the BMP-2s up here to help out. Need to have the artillery on the martyrs. And let's reinvest in tanks. Let's get that supply I keep saying I'm going to get. And we can't afford anything else. What a shame. The mortar's coming in clutch, getting some good suppressive hitch. Are you actually shooting? You know, come on. Are you? 
it's range on you again. TDBV. Yeah, 2400. You are not in range. I think maybe you're trying to shoot off the ATGMs. Do you have ATGMs? No, that's 2800. Now you're sitting at 3100. Well, they're getting their shots off now at least. Those martyrs are getting blapped. Those are BMP ones, so let's bug them off. Hmm. It reminds us go for the hill. I don't want to overextend myself over here right now. We can always try and capture this later. Because at least if we can get into the hill, I'd be a good position before the end of his phase. TADBV's being dumb. Okay. How are we going to attack up this hill is going to be an interesting affair, I think. Be interesting because I'm just gonna full stand up the hill. Use the smoke to block out the units. That smoke again. Just wanna kill the martyrs first and then we can move on to the lapage. Oh, the Lapids are the commanders, that's not very nice. We need to get that supply up. This is danger bloody close right here. We need to get these guys with an 800 so we can actually start flapping with the rocket launchers. Bugger off, bugger off. Not terrible, not terrible. We only almost lost one full platoon of TDBVs and a very sketchy front or so. But it's not over yet. With how those Leopard 2s are getting pinned down, it should be over pretty soon actually. Damn, that Lapid 2 or Lapid 2 just won't die. Five We're for and everything in the kitchen sink at him. Oh, here we go. We managed to get them without completely losing all our forces. Let's actually keep everyone back for a little bit to allow for the resupply. Uh, we're bringing the T64s. So that's a bit better for CQC. And... Bring in some BMP ones. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I really want to just at least get some recon over here. We're not going to take it its phase, phase, but just to get recon over here right now would not be 
a terrible move. Get the BMP2s, or I'll pin them down, and then we'll go into the flank. I believe these are just reserve troops. I feel kind of bad leaving the so engineers on defense, but it's just how it goes. And we're gonna get you guys ready for the attack on VR East. We actually might be able to take this phase, so it's not really the end of the road if we don't. We're doing pretty good. We're gonna smoke those out so our guys can get into in place positions before having to engage, and then we can also just drop some artillery on them. Get also T-64s up, we're just preparing the battlefield, so to speak. Yeah, he might as well just engage those guys at long range. Oh, another lap unit, not very nice. Oh, a lap of running tools, that's a bit nicer at least. Right, so block our line of sight now, remove up of the infantry to try to get rocket launcher hit. See that Lapper 2 unit is just getting absolutely buggered, yeah. Load those guys back in as I take artillery fire. Zone captured. BMP2 infantry. Well, let's get those rockets out. There we go. Can use these guys to capture the point. Oh, more? More? There's more? No way. No bloody way. Down the hill. I got a finger in it. May have been a bit cocky here. One minute remaining. Yeah, we got these guys in panic at least. Yes, danger close. We should be doing lots of damage. See him. Very funny to garrison a town with so many tanks. Oh, yeah, that's the infantry. There's only a few seconds left, there's no point getting anything currently. get overtime? No, we don't. Okay. Well, we made pretty good progress early on. So, let's go to the next phase. So, not terrible losses, considering the amount of ground we've taken. Now, these TDB fees are... Yeah, they're expensive. They're like 7 points a pop, roughly. 
So we're going to spend some points reinforcing Ron. Uh, actually, before... Um, engineer support. Could be important. Oh, we also went through a lot of supplies. So we want two pops of that. I think what else would be useful. I kind of want to get the uh, the VDV dude, also just for the SU-25s. I also got the Cornonas, which are cool. And the BRDMs, which would be helpful in the offensive right now. More supplies, we don't really need that. More BMP, we, we definitely, oh, we can have growth of BMP-3, so we're probably not going to get to that point however. I'm actually quite conflicted with Tron to take. Okay, we're we're hmm. These guys they're both they both come with Heinz, and Heinz will be useful later on. EMDs are also cool. Okay, we're going we're going for the VDV. The rest of our troops are not in terrible shape either. Um, hmm. Our deployment points might be useful. Our tactical support is not doing terrible. We really can call that TBM striking once. Yeah, we, we're fine on tactical support. Supplies we could use more of. But uh, we'll just be conservative. So, more deployment points. Operational log. Phase 2. GSFG command. Even when the NVA and the FRD were already fighting around Thuringiawald, the group of Soviet forces in Germany was surprisingly distant from it all. Recently appointed commander of GSFG, Berlakov, increased the troops' readiness level and recon efforts. But did his best to avoid any direct involvement like in Poland. Different policy, ignored orders. In any case, it all changed with a car bomb explosion on the hazy morning of June 2nd. Half the Vonsdorf City Hall, Town Mayor, Belakov, and several members of the Von Soviet were vaporized in an instant. Authority over the GSFG were transferred back to the previous commander, who haven't even left Germany yet. A little bit of a Sad situation, yeah? Um, we're not gonna buy anything else, so let's go to events. Hell yeah! Now I risk I kinda got the extra tactical support. Let's go over to the battle. And here we are. I see we're not in too bad. We're definitely gonna be spending 20 on this, and then we'll be spamming the artillery barrages. So! So, so, so. Uh, Vieira East is slowly going to get under our control. I'm going to expect a counter-attack on the hill. So I kind of want to get some infantry to reinforce that. But I also want to get some infantry on right-hand side to help push. Hmm. Maybe we just want tanks on the hill. We can move you guys over here. And then, hmm. This one will be interesting. Because we might want to use our TBM strike just to nuke his position so we don't have to invest heavy forces over here. We, we might do that. I think that's what we're going to do. And we're going to send in uh, VDV boys to do such a thing. And that leaves us with 75 points left. See, once again, mainly invest in a lot of infantry. Because, by God, we have a lot. Um, fire support have automatic rain launchers. It's kind of cool. Oh, these guys have air defense. Oh, yeah, all the BMPs have, like, some air defense. They have Igles attached to them. So we always have some air defense, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's use these BMP-1s. And, yeah, we're just... Get into position on left flank. Try to take Barman's farm. 
and then once we do that, we'll put Heavy through Viara into next stage. Maybe we can do this all in this one phase, we'll see. Nice, I'll cap in the point. Zone captured. Fin the air. Oh, we could also just do an artillery barrage here. We might be able to get this without using our nuclear missile. Well, it's not nuclear, but it feels like it. MP2 into position, the TADPV into position. That's where we'll relocate the BMP1 over here. Oh, it helps if I give orders to the airborne troops to get their arse into gear now, wouldn't it? Not like we're up against a clock or anything. And then we'll start slowly moving through a suburban area. I'm still just very skeptical of some sort of counterattack happening. I don't like it. We might as well just get our regular artillery firing on that position. A lot of our dudes are heavily vetted now, which is quite nice. Speed things up a bit, as this is quite slow right now. Nice, slowly moving up. Sixty fours on left flank. Let's keep pounding that position. We get the BMDs over here. Then we might just retreat the BRMs once we capture that point, leave the VDV here for defense just for this phase or we'll hopefully we'll clear out everything by this phase actually so let's do the smoke barrage and we're gonna get our infantry right up in there there we go Ah, there's not really much over here. Oh, there's really not much over here. Cool. I think once uh, our dude start capturing that, we're going to start pounding it. Hey. Artillery barrage over here, please. Kind of misclicked that, but I'll live with my consequences. I'll live with my failures. The consequence is the failure. Yeah, we're... Then I capture it, it's easy peasy, nice. I was honestly expecting more resistance, but alas not, BRM run, your job here is done. We now leave the battlefield. Panzer mortars, uh, mortar in array. Now you could try to go for Valley and Southern Grove. We actually have to secure both. We might have to secure both, we'll see. I forgot, it's been a bit since I've last played this operation. Here, what we're doing. Oh, I. I didn't mean to press the R button on them, but once again, live with your mistakes. Zone captured. No, I 
kind of want to keep you unloaded for obvious reasons. And... They will get the BRM run over here, because I kind of want to see what's up ahead before full committing. And then we'll rebuy those BMP2s. But this is going to take a little bit of time. But we have time. We have 15 minutes or so. And we have another after years four phases left to complete stage one and stage two. So we have a TPM strike. Those BMP2s back up. Those are... Okay, we barely have range over here. Okay, counterattack. Not great. We'll see where it is. Anywhere else is Barrage's area. There's probably someone in there. Great surprise if there wasn't. There is stuff in there. Yeah, we're just... I think we'll be fine. Let's save that TPM for a natural scary threat. Which is potential counter-attack. See, I'm going to relocate his BMP2s to Hill 99 just in case the counter-attack happens, yeah? If it happens on the far right flank, uh, if, we, if we don't get this point because of the heavy counter attack, so be it. Or maybe the heavy counter attack is over here. Those guys pinned here for a little bit. That does seem to be the heavy counter attack, so let's relocate our BMPs over here. Our T 64s, no! Hold the line! One second! Ah, oh, that's nice. The C-64s did not die in vain. They were our valiant meat shields. And I really don't like those modders, so... Two's up. Probably be a good idea also if we move up our supplies and mortars. Probably a bit silly keeping them back here. Are oh, these full sending? So you can play the infantry game, bitch. Not really too worried about losing a single BRM run. We got quite a lot of hills in reserve. We won't have to spend the money reinforcing that. There's another Panzer Mortar. God, I miss our, our missile strike is so much fun. I guess we're seeing a second whether this will be enough to move us to the next zone or not. Probably want to rebuy those T 64s. Oh, 
supplies, I also want you to move up. Come on. That UDBV is not in the bestest of positions, yeah. Another... Okay, that's not a heavy counter-attack. Okay, you've satisfied the stage exit condition. After this phase is concluded, you may advance to the next stage by using the map on the regiment management screen. You may also choose to stay on the stage for several more phases. Okay, that's how it works. So... In that case, let's move these guys off the farm and get them to the forest. We do the same thing with you guys over here as well. I'll just get an artillery barrage on those guys for the time being. Yeah, we can just try and make some sort of offensive on the rest of these flanks. We do have the extra artillery branches left, so we might as well try to take advantage of that. I'm guessing there was a tanks back here, so I want them to not shoot at us before we get into position. And then what we do, we get the assault engineers up pretty close. Oh no, it's just infantry, it's all infantry. Oh. What? Um, I didn't really want you guys fully up here. You guys have no ammo! <laughs> That's, that's very, that's very ghetto, and oh look, that's a, um, that's a helicopter, helicopter. Avantia. Got the man pads. There we go. Helicopter, helicopter! Come on! I like we overextended a little bit in the far left to try and clear out the rest of the flanks. Oh no, we have the T-64s coming up, so they may come in clutch. The riflemen are getting blapped. Mortars probably want to move. EDBV's out of danger. And we'll move up these BMP2s. These BMP1s are just. Do yeah, we want to retreat them? Yeah, we'll be fine over here. If we look back over here. Doing our best to take out Bloody Valley. Please, you need to start supplying for the love of God. You need a flank of these MP2s. There we go, we're getting the ammunition back. What's going on over here? We're doing that. The smoke barrage. And we're push heavy onto the grove here. EMDs should be enough to hold, and we might actually completely capture this map. For some pesky martyrs. 
Five Person back a bit, get him into the forest. I wanted to unload you guys so you can do your thing. I'd say we'll relocate the T-64s over here to help. You are getting blapped, yeah. Up in the valley. Yeah, we should be good. Should be good to completely capture this map. I forgot how much uh, the AI folds like a cheap deck of cards at this point. Zone captured. Got firing, right? Artillery smoke up. I do, I do love playing with BMPs in this game. So efficient. Get the artillery on that point. Come on. Oh, there's tanks in there. That's not cool. I don't like tanks. I need to retreat you guys. This is a shame. This is a goddamn shame. And we're actually gonna get these BMP2s over here ASAP. The TADBP should be enough to overall chat position. M103 should die. Let's just get the T64s off. We can use our last artillery barrage to bugger up out uh, Leopard. So we did take some casualties pushing through, but I think it still is cost efficient in regards to the operational authority we are acquiring here. Oh, I just pressed, I pressed the retreat button on the 2S3. Se seems to be an issue today. Value my subordinates lives a bit too much. I'm gonna just drop some smoke here so BMP2s move on up. It's not a real point investing in anything right now. We do have our BMP reinforcements making it up, but there's not a whole lot here to really attack. I think if we time this right... I guess you could actually just buy the artillery, because it doesn't really require time to get to the front line to help out. There you go! Oh no, yes, there's the tank. T64 BPs are all clear. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Stop firing. One minute remaining. We pretty much captured the entire map. There's no point going over here because there's no operational authority to acquire. Zone captured.
And there we go, once again, not a terrible KD ratio, and we've cleared the map. A very successful start to this operation. So we'll continue it next time, as we're gonna have to attack a bloody airfield base. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.